my gosh. Wow. Look at him, he's yawning. I can't believe. Usually you see them in the middle of the ocean when you go for a ride on a yacht. So that is the restaurant right there. And this is what you see around it. And yes, this is it. So let's go. It's the menu here. So today I'm going to get this green lantern with cilantro salt. And yes, this is very good. They also have golden lantern. The mocktails are named after the streets around the restaurant here in the city of Dana Point. So these are the prices of their drinks the cocktail menu and then let me show you their wine list they have a lot of selections this is definitely a seafood place they have fresh seafood here made by the best chef in town I heard he is very good this is my friend Diane favorite restaurant so this is our second time here together she took me here one time and it was so good that I have to come back again so yes this is all the venue they have and I cannot wait I know whatever I order here is going to be delicious I'm very excited oh my god my mouth is already drooling <laughs> This one here is their outdoor dining. You can also choose to dine inside. Wow, it's very sunny. First up is my cocktail and it's actually like a mocktail. That's what they call it here. So I ordered the Green Lantern. In in this, it has the beautiful dried lime. That is so pretty. I love the presentation. And it has the cilantro salt around the rim of the glass. And of course, it comes with a straw. And pineapple, lime, agave, and cilantro. Ooh, just all the combination of this drink. It's like really want to make me dance right now already. <laughs> Diane, my friend, is having this. What is this? This is the Aperol Spritz, which is Aperol uh, liqueur with sparkling white wine and sparkling soda water with a candied orange slice. Wow. Delicious. Wow. This it is also a digestive. This drink is very popular in Italy and France. Oh my gosh. You know, Diane is a very, very uh, educated with fine dining. She's one of my best friends that love fine dining. And yes, look at this all sparkles that's coming out of this camera. Oh my god, I can see clearly how awesome. It's almost like Christmas inside this wine glass. I love the color because it's like orangey and it's so summery. It's just perfect for our occasion right now and the weather is we're almost approaching summertime so these are the best drinks to have here. So now this is our appetizer here. This is their price, house price and they call it duck fat fries with sea salt, parmesan, and truffle aioli dipping sauce. Oil with a little mayonnaise and oh. herbs and spices. And wow, onions. that must be delicious. And if this is a parmesan cheese sprinkled all over it. Oh, these are chives. Oh, I see. And yeah. Now let's start with this fantastic drink. I am so thrilled. Oh my god. That aroma is so, so good. 
feels so refreshing I really like it and yeah that was just one sip <laughs> and I'm already in love oh my gosh and the way they crush the ice inside the drink is just perfect it blends the flavor together and uh, it doesn't sometimes some of the drinks they put so much ice and then the flavor goes away but actually this is just a perfect amount of ice and yes it's very aromatic mm. the lime and the pineapple I could really taste it the french fries Wow, it's so nice and soft inside, but outside is crispy. It's almost like a bread that just came out of my Breville toaster at home. <laughs> uh, this is it. It's it's. I don't know. I just like it. Right now, this is one of the newest restaurant in Orange County and it's a very hot and very popular. They have the best chef in town and number one best restaurant number one to OC um, really? yeah, Orange Coast magazine. Oh my god. Yes, you should uh, come here and try. It's a good idea to start with this uh, French fries. Oh, I am really enjoying this fries. This is actually made with duck fat. That's why it's very tasty. They use duck fat to fry this fries. It is a healthy fat and that's why it's so tasty. It's just so different. I actually haven't tried fries like this in my life. Mm. It has that slight scent of duck in it. It's a very unique flavor on a price and you gotta try this one. Oh, there oh there's Stay the there. lobster right oh, here ladies. thank you so now this is the scissor salad right with the lobster and it has the lemon with glazing on top anchovies fish and all that lettuce in there what is this purple leaves Part yeah. of the lettuce. Red leaf, leaf lettuce. What about the sauce? Just a regular Caesar sauce. Very good for the lobster. Oh wow. This is for the lobster. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. Going to be my plate and I'm going to pour this delicious sauce over this lobster. It looks so yummy already look at that milky sauce i can't get over these french fries i have one more piece before i start my main meal hi ladies how is everything oh it's delicious so it's yummy. yummy i wow. know i love this salad i always get it with salmon but i might have to try the lobster it sounds fantastic i can't wait to start mine let's <laughs> try it wait. It's so rich and just like, oh, I love it. Well, the sauce is really good. Yeah, the Bourbon sauce is fantastic. I love when he makes anything with it, like our, um, the Cron Crocodile is wonderful too. If you haven't tried that one yet, I definitely recommend it. Well, I'd better start but with this lobster. Yeah. Can you get it? I'm so not. enjoying. Thank you. Do you want to let me in your wallet? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh my god, now let's start this lobster. I can't wait. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so crunchy. Yet it's so smooth and very flavorful. It is so fresh. It's like almost eating part of the ocean. <laughs> Diane, this is fantastic. I, I love the lobster. I love the sauce. It's it's definitely it's like Michelin brand five star restaurant.
and I like the ambience here because you're actually dining right in front of the ocean and it is so beautiful so breezy the fresh air oh my god the weather today is just perfect now let me try this anchovy let's see how he made this mm. I like that fishy kick Wow. I really like the way the chef does things. Yeah, it's, it's like perfectly presented. I like how the flavors dance with each other and it's not very strong, but yet it's so smooth. Another thing I like about this is that the lettuce is not chopped into pieces. So when you do this with the lettuce, I think, or any vegetable, the flavor uh, it just doesn't scatter all over the place so it contains the flavor of the vegetable when you keep it uh, in one piece like this and when you put all the sauce on it it even makes it more delicious when you take that bite plate is so clean i so enjoy this food and the french fries too i'm actually eating the rest of this so I can clean the plate as well. The lobster, the Caesar salad, and the french fries. I'm already full. I'm not a big eater as well as my friend Dayan, but we're gonna have more food vlogs here because this is going to be our spot every time we meet up. So every time we come here, I will be showing you different menus. But for today, this is it for me. I'm so full, we ate it all and we're getting ready to have our dessert. It's approaching dinner time now. It's getting a bit late. Um, the restaurant is getting really full. It's very popular and I can see a lot of people are coming here. That's why my background right now is quite loud. So I will have my dessert very soon and I'm very thrilled. I'm very excited. I can't wait to eat them. Scoop of vanilla ice cream or coconut ice cream with it. Um, wonderful. I also really enjoy our beer masseu. I think it's really interesting. We make it with our stout beer. So it does have a little bit of a liqueur taste to it, but since the stout beer already has a lot of coffee notes, it really goes well with the coffee in the tiramisu. And that one's a pretty light, um, light ending tiramisu, so if you're not too hungry, I would probably go with that one. It's a fairly small. But definitely the apple part. So that didn't really, that didn't turn it down. Yeah, I felt, I felt the Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, lovely. Let's see this. Oh, wow. So here it is. Ooh, apple tart. So pretty, isn't she? Coconut ice cream. Yum, yum. Let's start with this coconut ice cream. Let's try. Oh, yeah, this is so mm. Wow. It is very flavorful. Mm. <laughs> I love that. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> my aunt used to do that. Oh my god. Isn't it delicious? Yeah. Mm. It has the coconut crust too. The coconut ice cream has that coconut crust. I believe that's what it is because it kind of have that smooth rough texture and it's very flavorful. I feel like I'm in Hawaii right now or in the Philippines eating coconut on an ice cream but I'm actually here in Dana Point. It's a very special place. So this is cream cheese with cinnamon. Like a whole grain crumble with cinnamon as well. There's a couple different kinds of cinnamon in that. Mm -hmm. And then the apples are coated in cinnamon as well. Wow. Yeah. So exciting. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Wow. 
I could really taste and even smell the cinnamon, the spice. It gives a good kick for this apple tart. Mm. And let's try them. The apple itself. Mm. Isn't the whole thing good? Very good. This is nice and crunchy. This um, apple tart is freshly baked. All the food that you eat here are all fresh and just made for today. The sweetness is coming from the natural flavor of the ingredients. Um, I don't really think they put a lot of sugar on this, which I love. So it's not like those uh, dessert that has that um, strong sugar taste which, which can somewhat be very displeasing to your tongue. This one is just definitely like the natural sweetness from the fruits itself, from the apple and the coconut. This is the lobster that we ate. This is different. Yeah, that's uh, our chocolate martini part. Oh, wow. Very cool. And this is what you see across the street from that restaurant. This is the Dana Point Harbor. Yeah.